People seem to think you gotta be butt naked, busting it wide open just to get paid and like, you don't. Hey everyone, it's Janae Way, and today I'm coming at you with a new YouTube video and in this video I'm gonna be telling you five ways that you can make money from pole dancing without having to strip. I know a lot of people who love pole dancing so much that they wanna make money from it but they don't necessarily want to dance in a strip club and you know what? I get it. Not everybody is going to be comfortable with being a stripper and to be honest, being a stripper isn't for everybody. If you just search up stripper story time on YouTube, you will come across hundreds of videos of girls talking about what it's like to work in the club. And if you watch those videos, you will quickly find out that working in a strip club is not all it's cracked up to be. For whatever reason, people have this perception that it's easy to be a stripper and that it's easy to make money from stripping and neither of those things are true. If you just go and watch some of these stripper story time videos or strip club story time videos, you will find out that these girls have to deal with a lot just from working in a strip club, okay? I mean, there is a lot that people don't even think about or consider that they might have to deal with. These girls might get into fights with other dancers. Like, who wants to do that? You're fighting with other girls. Girls might try to steal stuff from you, might try to steal your money. There's also rejection. You might get rejected by customers in the club. So just think about it. You could go to work thinking you're about to make all this money. You get there, you get on stage, do your thing, and nobody's tipping you or you try to go around and get lap dances and nobody wants a lap dance from you? I mean, come on, like, who really wants to deal with that? Just think about how much that's just gonna take a blow to your self-esteem and blow to your money in general because this money is not guaranteed. And the thing about that is you have to pay to work in a strip club. There's something called a house fee. So you have to pay to enter the club to be able to work there. So could you just imagine going to work, not getting any money, and on top of that, you have to pay to be there so you ain't even break even. You're losing money going to work. So there's things like that that happen on top of the fact that you're getting rejected by people so you're starting to compare your body to the other dancers and then you start thinking, well, maybe I should get my body done because then I could get more money and that's extremely unhealthy because then you're doing it for the wrong reasons so there's all that stuff people can't afford to deal with that financially or mentally because the money's not guaranteed and nobody is yeah it basically the money is never guaranteed not to mention working in the strip club is not the safest profession you're coming into close physical contact with complete strangers okay close physical contact with complete strangers and these people might be drunk, they might be high, they could be on anything and could easily cross boundaries and put you in harm's way and so many girls have gone through so many terrible experiences just from dealing with these kinds of terrible customers who don't respect dancers. So these are things that people don't really think about when it comes to thinking about working at the strip club. They see, oh, these girls are glamorous and beautiful and they're making money just from, you know, having a very nice body and be able to dance. But there is so much that comes with it that people don't think about. So if stripping is something that you wanna do, definitely do your research before you decide to do it. And if you feel like you can deal with all of those things, then go for it, get that money, sis. But just to be real with people, just know it's not for everybody and your experience might not be like somebody else's so you can't go in there with high expectations because you really might get let down. And if you just know for sure that you could never be a stripper but you still wanna make money from pole dancing, then just keep rocking with me, sis, because I'm about to get into these five ways that you can get paid from pole dancing without having to be a stripper. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. But before I even get started, please make sure you're subscribed because I don't want you to miss a thing. Hit that notification bell so you are alerted every single time I post a new video. And also make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janeway so we can always stay connected on there. Now let's go ahead and jump into this video. All right, so number one, if you have seriously considered stripping, dancing, whatever, if you have seriously considered doing it but you just never did it for whatever reason, like you're too anxious about it or it makes you nervous or you're intimidated by the environment but you low-key really want to do it like you would do it in theory but like you just can't bring yourself to do it make an only fan sis make an only fans i mean just think about it think about the reason that has stopped you from ever trying to dance in the first place it could be the environment that you're intimidated by you're intimidated by the stage you might not want to interact with other dancers you might not really want to interact with customers you might not be comfortable with doing certain things giving lap dances or something like that or you might just generally feel unsafe working in a strip club, but guess what? OnlyFans eliminates all of that for you, sis, so you might as well just make one. Uh, you don't have to interact with creepy customers, so that's a good thing. You don't have to interact with other girls who might try to start beef with you because who wants to fight? Um, you don't have to be in an unsafe environment where people might try to harm you or put you in harm's way um, or cross boundaries or do something crazy like try to stalk you because you're in the comfort of your own house 
and you can literally wear and do whatever you want on your OnlyFans because it's yours. So you call the shots. So like, it only makes sense. People seem to think you gotta be butt naked, busting it wide open just to get paid and like, you don't unless you want to. All you need to do is get some cute little outfits, get some cute little heels, some shoes to dance in. You can get a pole if you want to, but honestly, you might not even need a pole. If you don't have one at home, you can still do this kind of thing. Just get some like lights in your room to kind of set the mood, make it feel like people are in the strip club when they're subscribing to your OnlyFans. It doesn't have to be, like I said, butt naked and busting a wild. No, you don't have to do all that to get paid. Be yourself, do what you're comfortable with and collect that coin. All right, number two is becoming a pole dance instructor. That's what I did, that's what I do. I love teaching people pole dance. It is like one of my favorite things to do and I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to do that. I've been teaching pole for almost a year at this point and it is just one of the funnest things I've ever been able to do and I'm just grateful that it's actually turned into something that I can make money from. So I would say if you are a people person, you love connecting with people and you know that you could effectively teach people how to do things properly, look into becoming an instructor. If you're a member at a studio, I would reach out to the instructors or owners of that studio just to see if there's any opportunity for you to become an instructor there. And if there's not, you can also just be an independent instructor and teach private lessons, private classes. All you need is access to a pole space and have a nice sturdy pole to be able to teach people. And you can just teach lessons on your own. There are a bunch of people who are already doing this and they're even doing it from the comfort of their own home. Um, they've designated a room in their house as their pole studio and they bring people over and have private lessons with them. Or you can also have online classes. You can create an online course teaching people how to pole dance. And yeah, there's just a lot of different ways that you can go about doing it, but it's something that's possible for a lot of people. If you do have that passion um, for teaching others and connecting with people, I would highly suggest becoming an instructor or teaching people private lessons. And if you want some more tips on how you can become a pole dance instructor, then definitely check out this video up here where I tell you about my personal experience about how I started teaching and just give you guys some tips about what you can do to prepare yourself to become a teacher if that's something that you're interested in. Now moving right along to number three is to sell pole dancing outfits. This is something that I absolutely love. If you're into fashion and pole, I would highly suggest creating an online boutique. I personally love purchasing all kinds of dancewear, but it does get difficult to find the perfect dancewear because not everywhere sells dancer friendly clothing. Like you're not gonna really find the kind of outfit that you want as a pole dancer or a stripper at Fashion Nova. You know what I'm saying? You're not really gonna find the outfit that you want on like ASOS or whatever the girls shop at these days. You're just not gonna find the type of clothes that we like to wear, whether it's in the club or in the studio. So I would highly suggest if you're into fashion, set up an online boutique, especially right now we're in a time where doing something like that is very easy and accessible. You can set up a shop on Etsy, you can create your own website through Shopify or through Squarespace. It's so easy to find wholesalers right now, or if you're up to it, you can even design your own custom clothing. So I would say if that's something that you're interested Definitely look into doing that because outfits are always going to be high in demand, especially for the strippers and dancers that go work in the club. They're always going to want some new cute outfits. To. So if you can custom design something or even just find a really good wholesaler to provide outfits to people, then definitely do that. Create an online shop, an online boutique, and provide pole dancing outfits to pole dancers across the world because we can always use different boutiques who specialize in dancewear for dancers and pole dancers and strippers because there is not a lot of options out there for us already so it would be nice to see more so definitely look into that if you are interested all right number four is starting a blog this is a great option for people who may not be fully comfortable with teaching people in person because not everybody is just comfortable with doing that um, you might get anxiety from public speaking or just trying to work with people so if you're somebody like that who would prefer to help people from a distance a blog is a great option to do that especially with pole dancing because there are so many different topics that you can cover you can talk about what to do if you're a beginner you can talk about how to improve your pole dancing you can talk about the best grip to use literally anything that is related to pole dancing you can create a blog post about because Trust me, people reach out to me all the time with the most random questions about pole dancing, like so much that I don't even think about, that there's really so much information out there that people are seeking out. Like whether you believe it or not, there's somebody out there on Google trying to find the answer to something and you could easily give that to them by creating a blog. So if you're passionate about pole dancing and you're good at writing or you just generally want to be able to give people tips and tricks to be able to help them on their pole journey, then definitely consider starting a blog. All you need is a website like Wix or Squarespace like I mentioned before for to set up your blog and once you get it going you can monetize it and then get paid 
to help other people. And last but not least, another way that you can make money from pole dancing is by starting a YouTube channel. Yes, you can still make money on YouTube in 2020, believe it or not. A lot of people will say that YouTube is oversaturated and that's not true at all. Especially when it comes to pole dancing, there is not a lot of people out here doing what I'm doing right now. There's not a lot of people really sitting down and giving you tips and tricks and there's not a lot of people of color. So if you have always considered starting a YouTube channel, this is the perfect time to go ahead and do that and you can make it what you want. You can come on here and post your pole dance videos if you just wanna express yourself and show off your art or you can do what I'm doing and actually give people different tips and tricks and give things from your perspective and that's exactly what we need more of. We need more perspectives. So I totally suggest if this is something that you're interested in and you would wanna make videos and be on camera and put something like this out there, I highly suggest doing it because it could be a very lucrative opportunity for you. You can connect with a bunch of other people across the world in the pole dance community and you can really just kind of build up a name for yourself as well, which is something that's also cool, you know, interacting with people and people looking to you for advice and things like that, sharing your journey, inspiring other people. It's just another way to connect with the community and also do something that can also potentially put money in your pocket because yes, this, you can still make money on YouTube in 2020 because that's what I intend to do. I don't care what nobody says. People are always like, oh, I'm on YouTube because I really like making videos. Yeah, that might be true. Um, but I'm also trying to get paid. So like I'm just gonna be transparent about that I love being on here and doing what I do But ultimately yeah, that is my goal to eventually get paid from doing this and it's a hundred percent possible So if you think that it's not trust me it is and you can very well do it too It's gonna take a little bit of time and if you just want some tips on how to even get started on YouTube Definitely check out this playlist up here because I actually have videos on my channel where I talk about what it's like to be a small YouTuber, the things that I'm learning and how I'm growing my channel, how I even set up and film my videos. All that information is there, so definitely go check that out. But if you are interested, please come join me on here. I would love to see more people on here. I'd love to see more people of color on here talking about pole dancing and just really like just, 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 you know, just really building up this community on YouTube. So definitely do that if you are interested. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment down below if there are any other ways that you can make money from pole dancing without having to work in the strip club. Let me know if there's anything that I missed. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I don't want you to miss a thing. Hit that notification bell too so you can be alerted every time I post a new video. And also follow me on Instagram at Janeway so we can always stay connected there. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye.